Man, I'll just tell you, some people, some people, there's a garbage can right over here. Welcome back to In Hood Fishing, everybody. So, this pond that we're walking around right now is called Grandpa's Pond. It's really shallow on this end, and today, it's half chocolate milk and half slightly milky tea. Why is that? Because we had buckets last night and this morning. I mean, it just rained. Some places got more than we did, but we collect all their water around this area. So two counties over up north of me could have just got diluted and I got half of what they got, but I'm gonna get all that they got because it's draining this way. So. Why am I here at this pond? Well, I want to look for two things. Bluegill, because there's some really big bluegill in here. And I want to look for bass because the bass are active on the shallow end. Why is half of it chocolate milk and half of it slightly milky tea? Let me show you. First things first. So this is the really, really dirty side. Maybe this is what chocolate milk looks like in Oklahoma. See how red it is? So. That's what I mean. Half of it's really, really dirty and the other half isn't so much. And the reason for that, now we gotta walk back the other way. Back there is where the runoff is coming into this pond. Did I tell you what it's called? It's grandpa's pond, not my grandpa, somebody's grandpa. So the drain, you see where all those logs are right there? That's the drain. So all the really, really dirty water is getting pulled to the drain. So the other side of the drain, yeah, is cleaner, but still dirty first things first we're gonna target bluegill now we're going to use a bobby garland that is a the bigger sexy shad with the paddle on the the tail and that's on a 1 16th ounce jig head i've already been using it somewhere else recently so it's a little beat up it's a chartreuse and red eye jig head now we got to adjust my cork from yesterday I was fishing much deeper water the other day with this, and this is much shallower. We're going to see if we can get away with about a foot underneath the cork. We might need even less. I'm going to throw this on this weighted cork at an angle out that way and slowly retrieve it back to me, just really slow. We're outside a weed line here, so it sh we shouldn't hang up on anything. I went ahead and shortened my depth. I have about maybe eight inches underneath the cork now. All right, so yeah, this color is, is working when we get cloud cover. It's working better when we have cloud cover, but I think the problem is that this tail is too long. This is really a crappie bait. So we can stay with this type of bait, a Bobby Garland, but we need to downsize to the smaller sexy shad so we have less tail. Let's go with a totally different color as well. We're gonna go with this chartreuse and red glitter because it'll work fairly well regardless of the uh, sky conditions, whether we have overcast or direct sunlight. Yes, finally. Yeah. It's a goggle eye. Big enough to get that jig down. Whoa. Took forever to get something, but that's nice. Finally. There's a nice weed bed right in front of us about where we put that jig. It gets thicker as we go to the right here. There's a lot of activity in it. 
Here we go. Finally, I found the fish willing to bite this 1 16th ounce jig. And this time, it's a bluegill, what we came here for. Now, there are bigger ones in here, but that's a good size one right there. That'd be good for bait, but let's let this one go. It took me a while to start getting into serious bites like this. First, it was just a bunch of little tail bites, little takedowns from little tiny panfish. And I kept feeling the temptation to downsize everything to like a 132 and a smaller bait. But I'm not here to catch really small fish. I'm here to, to look for tank bluegill. Let's see if we can get that done. It's adventure time here. moly I'm gonna turn around but not for that reason it's too shallow to fish over here man did you see that that was a big bottle of Gatorade someone threw in the water back over there yeah we're on the more adventurous side because after catching two fish on the jig today under the conditions that I have. I'm brimming with confidence and I'm aiming it at, <laughs> yeah, the free Gatorade side of this pond. Let's see what I can do over here. Might have to go back. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go to a different part of it. Gatorade just makes me pee anyway. All right, ambitions aside, let's uh, keep fishing over here. Let's do something different. Let's see if we can get a tank on live bait we're gonna fish with red wiggler this is a size 8 aberdeen right there really small i have bigger but we'll start with what i'm working with we're gonna do this under a cork with about the same depth as the jig we're gonna put it out in the same place where i was getting bites from the bigger fish the same place where i caught those two fish if you're curious we're real close to where i've been filming baby alligators which is across the way where this drains out to. So maybe that gator flop over there was the mama or the papa of that brood that we've seen in previous videos. Here we go. Not the tank I wanted, little guy. All right, just let him go like that. Over here, we're going to wait out. Oh, do you see all that? There's a lot of gill here. They look like gill. It could be warmoth goggle eye. I think my depth is too deep. You guys aren't interested in eating, huh? There we go. Yeah, goggle eye. Or wait a minute. Oh, it's a little bigger. That's a nice one. Is that nice red ear? I think I misidentified this first one I just pulled out. We got two red ears here. little guy this worm is more productive and i knew it would be it's just i'm gonna hit everything little and small but i wanted to go do other things so we're just gonna use the worm till i'm done oh another little guy another little gill Oh, whoa. Oh, I'm not sure if this is a gill or a flyer. I'm coming up 
it's got the gill spot right there but this coloration here is different and all those black specks that might not be natural those black specks that might be yeah it's not a flyer I don't think no somebody knows you're gonna tell me all right guys I'm about done here I just wanted to share the jigging method for panfish bluegill goggle eye red ear a slow retrieve with a, a small soft plastic on a small jig I was using a 1 16th ounce this method also works for crappie with the same bait so real fun here a little adventure only wanted to spend a little bit of time here now i'm going to go do something else a totally different video i hope to see you there so like share comment all that great stuff subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i appreciate it and i will see you next time